And Nina, thank you so much for doing this. Of course, thank you for having me. So the reason why I really am so happy about this is you're one of the speakers here at NAEP. This is the biggest energy conference that I go, one of the biggest ones that I go to. So just for kickoff, tell me a little bit about how has this event been for you? Um, you coming in as, as a, a thought leader and really a, an, an expert in your field, how has it been just these last couple of days? Oh, it's been fantastic. I mean, NAEP is an awesome conference, it always is, and uh, it's fantastic seeing a lot of old faces. Uh, I used to work in the oil and gas industry, so always great to reconnect with old colleagues and uh, get them excited about what I do now, which is geothermal. Yes, and that's the thing is geothermal. I, I'm assuming your topic was on this. Tell me a little bit about what was your lecture about and, and, and why did it matter? Absolutely. It's about um, the convergence of oil and gas and geothermal and the synergies that exist between the two. Um, talking a lot about how uh, the workforce as well as a lot of the technologies are really enabling this next generation of geothermal that is going to be a massive boom to the energy landscape in the U.S. Wow. Okay. And this is the thing that I've been wanting to ask and you kind of touched on it, but why should the oil and gas industry care about geothermal? Like what is the real, what are the things that we're not thinking about? Yeah, well, I mentioned the word boom, and uh, what I allude to in my presentation is I strongly believe that we are on the precipice of another boom similar to the shale boom, um, except this time with geothermal. And the reason why that is, is because there's innovative new technologies for harvesting geothermal energy um, that many of rely heavily on um, the technologies and the expertise that was really honed by the unconventional boom here in the U.S. And those are now being uh, deployed within geothermal, making it more economical, less risky, and much more geographically diverse where it can be deployed. Wow, so this is actually something that's expanding right now. Yeah. Okay, and then for 2025, what are some of the, not issues, but maybe the challenges that the industry might see where they need to be going, hey, we need to explore this more, we need to uncover more intel and figure out a better way to leverage this? Yeah, you mean from the oil and gas side or yeah. from the geothermal side? Uh, from an oil and gas, you know, just people who just, it's, it hasn't been on their grid yeah. and they're going, really, we need to really dive into this? Yeah. What are the things that they're experiencing that might say, you know, yeah, this is something that we should be diving into a little bit deeper? Mm -hmm. Well, I think when I think about especially the major players in the oil and gas space, yeah. I think their future is in being energy companies, not just oil and gas companies. Mm -hmm. And because geothermal is such a natural fit for their existing workforce and their existing uh, supply, uh, supply chains, it's a natural fit. And I think a common misconception is that geothermal is too expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's great new research out, um, a group out of Stanford that was published in Nature. They show that for huge areas of the United States, the LCOE for uh, next generation geothermal is on par and in most cases significantly less expensive when you compare it to other base load um, and dispatchable power sources. So the ones that you can compare it to if you want to compare apples to apples are like um, biofuels and uh, solar plus battery storage and next generation geothermal is cost competitive with all of those. Wow that is so great and I I see it you know it's something that wasn't on my grid but like the more I'm starting to think about what you're saying it it seems like it's very hand in glove. It is. Um, Okay, so when it comes to what you do, I, I know you work for a not-for-profit. Tell us just a little bit about that because um, this is something that sometimes people want to support. They might want to see you know, where else you'll be speaking in the future. So what is, what is the organization and what are you guys all about? Yeah, thank you for asking. Uh, so we're Geothermal Rising. We're the largest and oldest geothermal membership organization in the world. And we work to champion all applications and uh, forms of geothermal energy. We believe we're going to use the earth to save the earth. Um, but we... Um, champion everything from ground source heat pumps, which can drastically uh, reduce demand on the grid in terms of um, heating and cooling needs, um, through to direct use applications for decarbonizing heavy industry for agriculture, um, and then all the way through to power production. And on the power production side, we're technology agnostic. So I've been talking a lot about the uh, next generation geothermal because I think that ties really neatly in with NAEP and the oil and gas industry. Um, but we're really rooted in in the conventional um, hydrothermal, geothermal 
uh, industry. It's really where the organization started. And that's an industry that's been around for a hundred years um, and has phenomenal resources that produce for decades, some of them even a hundred years. So we really want to just spread the awareness of geothermal because it's a really, um, not well understood or acknowledged no. phenomenal renewable resource yeah and that's the thing i'm telling you guys if this is something that's interesting to you connect with anina because this is a she's a great speaker i know that uh this is all stuff that to me is it's cutting edge in my world just because i haven't explored it yet so i'm super interested to learn more and i hope we do more stuff together and um is there a website we should throw out before we uh this guy's walking by <laughs> And is there a website that we should throw out there for people that want to check out the not-for-profit? Absolutely. It's easy. It's just geothermal.org. Terrific. Well, thank you, Anina. I really appreciate it. Thank you.